We have one of the motors connected to a frequency converter and we can run this motor at any speed we like. We utilize this both in standby pumping and in fine-tuning of the pressure. The other motors will all start direct online. This means that once they are started, they run on full speed. And we start these direct online motors only as many as we need. In this example you're about to see, we have a section valve connected to a number of open spray heads. On the left hand side you will see the pressure, or you can read the pressure on the left hand side, and that's the blue line. On the right hand side you can read the flow, and that would be the red line. And the time line is on the bottom here. In this example we open the section valve, and once the pressure goes below 23 bars, the system will go from ready state to standby pumping. At the same time, there's a 10 second timer, and when that timer is down to zero, the system will go from standby pumping to activated. And at the same time, the pressure target will be elevated from 25 bars up to 140 bars. At this point, the unit starts to ramp up the motors. The first motor will give us roughly 25 bars of pressure with a flow of about 100 liters. And the second motor will give about 90 bars of pressure and the flow will be roughly 200 liters. The frequency converter will ramp up until we receive the target pressure which is 140 bar in this example and that gives about 250 liters of flow. So now the unit has reached its operation pressure, so here is where we actually put out the fire. Once the fire is put out, we can close the section valve, and at that point the flow will go from 250 down to zero. And at the same time, all the motors will be stopped. The direct online motors are stopped all at the same time, and the frequency converter is ramped down to zero percent. We still have the full pressure in the system, 140 bars, and there is no flow, it's, it's zero liters per minute. The next thing we do is resetting the unit, and we do that by pressing the stop button. When we do that, the unit goes from activated state to stabilization state, and a stabilization valve will open in the system, which leaks out the excess pressure, so the pressure drops, and when we come down to 23 bars again, the stabilization valve will close, the standby pumping will elevate the pressure up to 25 bars again, and now the unit is back in ready state. So what you can see here actually is exactly the same we had prior to opening the section valve. 